people welcome to my channel welcome to another video in today's video i'm gonna show you some of the simplest and most effective ways to beat defenders and no you don't need to learn how to do a rainbow flick step over or any of these fancy skills to beat defenders sometimes the most effective skills are the simplest one so in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can take an advantage of each 1v1 situation so let's get started All right guys, the first situation that can happen on the game, in this case I'm left footed and I'm going 1v1 against the defender, okay? My goal is to cut in and prepare the shot. So what you can do is, on this situation, drag the defender, make the defender thinking that you're going outside, okay? And in the last moment, whenever you think is the right moment, take a touch inside, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. So I'm dragging the ball, okay? The defender is gonna make so you're gonna close with this angle, okay? At that moment, you're gonna open the space for me to go inside. That's when I'm gonna do a change of direction, all right? And be ready to prepare the shot. The second option that can happen on the game is whenever we wanna go outside and prepare the shot. In this case, like I said, I'm left footed. So when we're going 1v1, we need to force the defender, so whenever we're dribbling, we need to force the, defend the defender, make him think that we're going inside, and in the last moment, explosively and fast, change of direction and go outside to prepare a shot with your left, all right? So, in the game, like we go now with the defender, we're gonna make, we're gonna make the run, make him think that we're going inside, okay? At that moment, we're gonna open the space for us, and then we're going, to shoot with the left. Another situation that also can happen is whenever we're going on the wing and we have a defender, we're going 1v1. The best thing you can do is to keep the ball as close as possible to your feet and whenever you get to the defender, change of direction and change of speed. So. On the game, this can happen whenever you dribble, all right? You get close to the defender, you fake it, making think that we're going inside, okay? You're gonna give us the space, then we're going outside, all right? So, what I recommend you to do is, you have the ball, you have a lot of space, all right? So, whenever we're going, keep the ball closer, then you're going down the wing. 99% of the times, this skill always works. And it's so simple. We have Antonio back to the channel. So the movement is very simple. It's a ball that comes for, let's say, the right back and you're the winger. So you receive the ball from him. The ball is coming, okay? At that time, the defender is really close to you and the space is behind. So basically, without touching the ball, can get off the defender so the ball is traveling you let it go and on the game the defender is not gonna expect that okay what the defender is gonna expect is is you taking the touch so for him it's gonna be a big surprise and most of the times he's not gonna see it so while the ball is traveling he's gonna think that you're gonna take the touch okay but in that moment you're gonna let it go okay and he's not gonna see and then you're gonna use the space that you already create. Okay guys, so that's everything for today's video. Put on the comments what type of videos you would like to see more often. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Mwah.